And now, let's see what's going on down in Pine Ridge. Well, morning, Abner. Morning, Mom. My doggies, ain't you down awful early this morning? Early? Well, I've been here for three hours already. Three hours? Yes, sir. And what's more, I sat up till night night, ten o'clock last night working on these pamphlets. Granny, I'm wore to a frazzle already. Wore to a frazzle. Well, that's too bad you have to do so much work. Pamphlets? Did you say you was working on pamphlets? Yeah, Granny, Abner, this is the best one idea I ever studied up. I've decided to become a sort of a helper for Diogenes. Huh? I'm going to help him write them pamphlets he puts out. I might even help him print them. I don't know. Well, does he want somebody to help him? Well, I never heard him say he did, but I reckon he does. Uh-huh. And I figured as long as he's going to be printing his stuff back there in the feed room, it'd be right handy for me to be his assistant. Yeah. I could think up ideas on right living and stuff while I'm working in the store here and then go back and run the printing press while Dodge and he's out to lunch or something. Yeah, that's a good idea, Long. And if that don't put me in solid with Diogenes, I don't know what will. <laughs> yes, sir, I believe I'll start thinking up some ideas for pamphlets, too. Well, I don't believe you're cut out for such work as that, Abner. You better leave this to me. Besides, I, I don't think it'd look right for both of us to be doing it. Well, why wouldn't it? Oh, you know, one thing and another it just wouldn't look good, that's all. Diogenes might suspicion we just... Trying to win the $10,000 prize. Well, ain't we? Yeah, but we got to be more subtile about it. Huh. Besides, I've got enough pamphlets writ up here to last Dodge and a couple of weeks at least. Here, let, let me read some of them to you. Well, I don't see why I can't think up of some ideas too long. This one's called, uh, Him Who Is Honest Will Triumph by Dodge and e. Smith and Honest Long. Honest Long? Yeah, don't you recollect that's what I'm calling myself now. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, listen to this. When a feller is still a young un, he ought to practice telling the truth so that, again, he gets to be I a grown man. I wish I could have some other name during a contest. Abner, are you listening to this or not? I'm listening. Him who is honest will triumph. I hear that. But I think I ought to have a name too, Lum. Like, uh, Honest Abner, or Honest Ab. That, that sounds like Honest Abe. I reckon I ought to just take the name of Lincoln for the contest? Oh, of course not. Well, Lincoln was known for being awful honest. Yeah, of course he was, but that ain't gonna help you, no way. Ain't, huh? Listen, Abner, I've been studying about this contest, and here's how I got it figured out. Just one feller can win that $10,000 for being the most honest, kind, and generous and helping person in Pine Ridge. So there ain't no use for both of us to try for it. Ain't, huh? Well, natural, both of us can't win, so why don't we pull together and both help one of us win the prize? That way we'll have a heap better chance to win. Yeah, I reckon we would. And since I've already started using the name of Honest Lum, and besides that I'll have the inside track by helping Dodge and ease with his pamphlets, I figure I ought to be the one to win. You, well, now, wait a minute. Honest Lum. Uh, honest, Lom, I'm uh, just as kind and helping handed as you are. Well, of course you are, Abner, but if we concentrate on me and work together instead of fighting again one another, we'll be might not sure winning. Don't forget that old lettered saying of mine, a house divided against itself is, uh, how does that go, separated or something. Well, I don't see why I ought not to help but win all that money, Lom. Well, don't worry about the money, Abner. After I win, I'll divide up with you. You'll get your share, all right. I will, huh? Well, sure. Well, I don't know. I'd still like to be known as a winner, though. It just tick a little pearl half to death if her papa was to be known as a winner. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Huh? Look out there. Dodge and he's getting out of that truck that just drove up. I grant his printing press must have got here. I'd even got my name in a weekly paper. Honest Ab Peabody. Stop mumbling, Abner. Can't you see Dodge and Ease is coming in there? I can see him all right. Well, pay more attention. Don't forget now. you got to help me bring up the subject of these pamphlets I've read. Him who is honest will triumph and all that. Bring up a subject? Why, of course. I can't just come right out flat-footed and tell him I'm going to be his helper. I have to work up to it sort of undirect, gradual. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Who's that following him? Oh, oh, Cedric. Yeah. Look at him. 
carrying a lantern just like Dodge and Easy is doing. <laughs> Plum disgusting. Yeah, of course it is. Mine out here, they come. Yeah. Well, wonderful world, Dodge and Easy. Wonderful world, my friends. Wonderful world. Well, I see your printing press has got here, Dodge and Easy. Oh, uh, yes. Yes, the press. The mighty, vibrant voice of honesty. Now I shall be able to continue my work. To send my golden words into darkened corners. To send them rushing, gushing forth in a mad triumphant torrent until the whole world is... Do you know what? No, what? I don't believe your front door is wide enough for the printing press to go through. No, the printing press is just too wide for the door. I, I was going to suggest, Dodge, and easy. Just have that truck drive around to the back and unload the press right direct into the feed room. Uh, There's a big door back there. Oh, uh, excellent thought, my friend. A sublime thought fashioned of pure logic. Uh, oh, Cedric. Yes, Mom? A uh, wonderful world, Cedric. Uh, would you, uh, my faithful bearer of the lantern, go with the truckmen, instruct them to unload the press at the rear of the building. Yes, Mom. Wonderful world. Yes, wonderful world, Cedric. Uh, Dodge and I was just thinking, uh, I imagine you get sort of wore out writing all them pamphlets all day long. Oh, you? never, my friend, never. I cherish every moment of my industry. I love every comma I invest in those pamphlets. Every word, every phrase, every subjunctive clause. Well? No, never shall I wear out at that task until the last drop of my lifeblood has flown away. For you see, my friends, it is my lifeblood that I pour into the wheels and cogs of my printing press. Mm. Is that how you get them our red letters in your pamphlet? Abner, hush up, for huh? goodness sake. Uh, I was just thinking, Dodge and Ease, it might be a good idea if you had somebody like, say, uh, well, uh, a helper. Ah, uh, yes, a helper. I had a helper once. He volunteered his services. He assisted in composing the text of the pamphlets. He took his turn at operating the press. Yeah, yeah, that's more sort of what I had in mind. Yes, right and never, never, Mark, you, have I encountered a more despicable man. Huh? No, oh, such deceit, such perfidy. His service, my friends, his service was merely a wedge to gain my confidence and seize my wealth. Well, I do. Oh, yes. All virtue had flown from his treacherous frame and left him the epitome of greed and avarice. I wish I could follow him. Oh, how could I ever hope for a wonderful world? Wonderful world. Wonderful world. With a man like him around. Oh, never. It could never be. Do you like to play marbles? Marbles? Well, I ain't played for a long time, but now I believe I got some old work to the play. Hush, let us not speak of marbles. No. Playing marbles for keeps started this man on his wicked, wayward path. Oh, no, my friends. Never again shall I trust a man who offers to help me in my glorious pamphlet work. Yeah, well, uh, Lom has already did hey, so. Uh, why did you ask me this, Mr. Edwards? Uh, do you know of someone who wishes to offer such services? No, no, I don't know nobody in particular that wants to. I just... Uh, well, Lom, you... you said you set up for last For goodness night. sakes, Abner, keep quiet. If you know of such a one, my friend, let us not hold back. I need such information for my records. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't know of no such a one right now. Why, Lom, Ed... Yeah, what are those papers you have in your hand, Mr. Edwards? Uh-huh. Oh, uh, paper. Oh, these, why, yeah, uh... right there, Lon. Them, yeah. them you got right well, there. Well, just, uh, grocery orders and bills and... Let's see what... Yeah, grocery orders. Is yeah. all them grocery orders? I doggies, have you been out working a trade this morning, Lon, trying to get some business for the store here? Yeah, I must have. Well, I do know. <laughs> well, I sit here and looked at that big stack of paper you had there. I thought all the time that you, you said them was pamphlets. Abner, I never written no pamphlets in all my whole life, and you know it. Well, uh, wh what about that stuff you was talking about a while ago, that, uh, wh what was it you said there, Long? I uh, never said nothing. Yes, you did, that you was telling me that, uh, uh, him who is on us will trump. Uh, what was that? Repeat that, Mr. Peabody, please. Abner, Abner. Him who is on us will trump. Oh, what a gem, what a pearl. What clarity and power and... Simplicity. Yes. Perhaps I've been wrong. Perhaps I can use a helper. Yeah, of course you can, Dodge. Yes. That's what I was going to say. Looks to me like you ought to have somebody help you. Yes, I need a helper, perhaps. Needing new life, a new attitude, 
a new freshness to cloak my messages. Ah, yes, friends. I'm going to use a helper. Well, good for you. Uh, good for you. Take up the pen and begin your task as soon as you can, Mr. Peabody. Mr. Peabody? Well, wait. Yes. Lom is the one. That... Uh, hush. I know who is the one. I am a judge of men. <laughs> Come, Mr. Peabody. Take up your pen. There is no time to lose. Well, I'll be dead blamed. Uh, what was that, Mr. Edwards? Uh, oh, uh, wonderful world. Ah, yes, wonderful world. Wonderful world. 